Hi guys, a small review here. What I'm holding here is called a swing um, from the company M Blades, which is run by a friend of mine called Martin Camphouse, um, a, uh, a gentleman in the Netherlands um, who is working on designing various types of innovative HEMA training equipment, uh, including gloves, uh, potentially a sparring sword, but this is the first product that really went into uh, manufacture. Now this is an early generation one, I should uh, point out that the current uh, um, sort of design that they're using looks a little bit different to this but functions in essentially the same way. Um, so what is it? It's basically an indoor training device so that you can practice your uh, sword movements without destroying your lights, your ceiling, your windows and hurting your cat and, and your, your wife or child. Um, <coughs> so um, it works on the principle essentially of instead of the blade carrying on it has what's essentially a pommel uh, pretty much equidistant to, to the actual pommel okay so if you close your eyes it sort of gives the illusion of having a blade extending out in front of your hands without actually having to take up the space of having a blade in front of your hands it means it's easy to store um, it's fairly weighty as you expect it weighs about the same as a sword but obviously the way it's distributed in, in a special way uh, to give you this feeling of of having a blade in front of your hands and in fact this example which I should um, uh, reiterate is an early generation one so that the current ones may be a bit different to this the point of balance is actually very close to the cross guard so this is something similar to what some uh, feders or feder schwertz, um are like balanced very close to the hand which uh, real long swords, and obviously this is a long sword version. Um, real long swords tend to be balanced more about five, six inches out from the hand, uh, four to six inches usually. Um, uh, so this is balanced a bit closer to the hand than I would personally like. Um, <clears throat> but um, um, and also they do make uh, a one-handed version as well. So you could use it in conjunction with a buckler if you practice sword and buckler, or indeed a shield. Um, but clearly sword and buckler is a bit, you know, takes up less space and you're more able to practice it indoors, I would think. Um, <clears throat> so how is it as a training device? Well, it's pretty good. Um, personally, um, I don't have a great use for it because I'm lucky enough to have outdoor space and lots of swords. So uh, when I want to train with a sword, I tend to go outside and train with a sword or I've got a, I've got a large uh, room in my garden I can train in as well. So. Um, it doesn't have a lot of use for me personally, but a lot of people out there aren't lucky enough to have that outdoor space, um, or indeed live in very cold countries um, where where they don't necessarily want to go and train outside. And so um, it definitely fulfills a purpose for people who live in apartments or, or just people who don't want to go outside or um, you know um, who want to do more training indoors. And of course, you can do it whilst watching a film or, or listening li listening to some music or whatever. Um, it's um, it's a strange effect you get from it because whilst it does feel like a sword in the hand, you psychologically you do know that there isn't a blade extending from there, and it doesn't have the same sense of inertia in your hand when you stop it. For example, um, I don't know the physics of why that should be, but um, I guess it's something to do with leverage or moment or something like that. I mean I did do physics at school but it's a long time ago and I can't remember the uh, <laughs> the probable explanations for that. But whilst moving it slowly and even quite quickly in the hand feels quite like having a blade, when you change direction it seems to change direction much quicker than you can do with an actual blade uh, normally. Um, the other thing is because you know that it doesn't have a blade extending out from it you can move the sword through quite illogical uh, paths. For example, what I'm doing here is essentially cutting half my own head off. Okay, so you could fall into the into the trap when you're training with one of these of actually getting used to doing motions that would actually hit yourself. And it's it may sound stupid, but it's one of the main aspects actually of solo swordsmanship training is learning to not hit yourself with your sword whilst being able to keep it close to your body and actually navigating it around your body and being able to do these sort of you know quick snappy techniques that stay close to your body but uh, but don't actually hit your body and hopefully hit the other person's body. Um, so it could be deceptive, it could possibly train some bad habits in, in, in that sense. 
However, um, to conclude, I would say by and large it's a pretty useful training tool and for a lot of people, um, and, and I know I actually know a fair number of people who've bought one of these, um, for a lot of people it clearly fulfills a very useful uh, niche in, in their training. Um, so there you go, I'll post a link below to M-Blades and uh, go and have a look at them and decide for yourself. Um, they're not hugely expensive um, and uh, maybe it'd be a useful extra training tool in your uh, toolbox. Cheers.